Good morning, mathematicians. We are looking at lesson seven for unit seven. This is about rectangles and squares. This cool down has a Venn diagram, and we're going to be sorting our quadrilaterals and classifying them um, in these categories that we see in the Venn diagram. We are told to draw the shape or write the letter for each shape that is in the correct location on the diagram. So let's start by looking for which of these are quadrilaterals? Well, of course, they're all quadrilaterals because they all have four sides. That's why quadrilateral is a circle that is encompassing all the other areas and all the other shapes. So now let's get more specific. Let's go to trapezoid. Trapezoid is this. It is shape C. So I'm going to click and I'm going to write a C here. Let's make it a little bolder and a little bigger. We are seeing that this is a trapezoid, and that is shape C. So that is why it is written in trapezoid, right? Now we're going to get even a little bit more specific, and now we're going to be thinking about parallelograms. Parallelograms are shapes that don't just have at least one set of parallel sides, like a trapezoid. These have two sets of parallel sides, two opposite sides, two sets of opposite sides that are parallel. So the parallelogram that we see is A. Now the reason I'm putting A here is because I'm going to be putting my other shapes. I'm going to be putting B and I'm going to be putting D in an even more specific title, right? For example, when I look at shape D, I see that D is a rhombus. D is a rhombus because all of those sides are equal, right? We can look at that and we can see that all sides are equal. So that is going to be D. Now notice D rhombus is also a parallelogram because that curved rectangle is swallowed up by parallelogram and trapezoid and quadrilateral. So it's those other names as well, right? Now that takes us to our last shape that we have not included, and that shape is B. We are going to put B in the rectangle section because a rectangle, shape B, has four right angles in addition to all the properties of parallelogram and trapezoid and quadrilateral. So this is the way that that hierarchy should be sorted when we're looking at the Venn diagram for lesson seven.